Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, Lady D. So this will be my video for coming up for what's the, the week ahead. I have started doing my predictions for 2024 and I will be looking at filming that very soon and editing that video and putting it out there. So there's a few more things I wanted to look at um, to do with retrogrades or the ret certain planets movements that are coming up in the year. And so I'm look up different celebrities. If there's a celebrity that you want me to do predictions of, I do have a sum of my predictions that I've gotten. But if you want me to do look at specific certain celebrities, please put it in the comments. Please let me know who you want to know about so I know who are the channel when I'm looking at that. But I have in my notes about four pages in my smaller book that I do write things down of information. So what's coming up um, this week with the planets? Well, we are starting with the new year fresh. We are coming out of a Jupiter retrograde, which is happening on the 31st of December. And then on the 2nd, we have Mercury, which is going to, going to be moving direct as well. And that's going to be moving direct um, in Sagittarius. So it's actually retrograde back from Capricorn into Sagittarius and will be moving forward in Sagittarius um, on the 2nd of January. So we've also got like today, we're doing this on the Friday 29th, we have Mercury and Mars. So that is quite close together. They're not exactly conjunct, but they were conjunct a few days ago. They are still close together. So you might be feeling more confident in your communication here. Um, they are squaring Neptune, but then we also have a try to Neptune as well with Venus. So with the squares from Mercury and Mars with Neptune, that could be about people pulling all of your eyes or a little bit of deception or even could be a dissolve, not as feeling as angry or dissolve into sort of communication as well. Or if you're trying to tell lies, it could, or someone's trying to just like tell lies, you're gonna see through it or they're, they're gonna be caught out. Um, We've also, and with this Venus try Neptune, it's a sense of seeing beauty in things and sort of being day, I feel like a, like a like daydreamy state as well. We also have this week Mars try Jupiter, which is about going to be about feeling more, um, I feel like it's about a strength here. So you're feeling a lot more um, strong within yourself and courage too. I feel like you're going to feel a lot better in yourself with that aspect that's coming in as well we also have a square with venus and saturn which is kind of going to be happening um for most of this week that we've got here so it will be happening it will be finishing early it might be fin finishing early in the year but it does there is a square that is going to be forming um with that and when I was looking at the chart, I did sit there for a lot of the a lot of the week. So let me just change my chart that I've got here. So I've got the chart up for the being the first of the month of the month of the year, the first of um, the first of January. So we, we do have a square of Venus and Saturn, and I feel like it's going to be there for most of the week, so there could be some problems coming up with relationships or finances. But we have a lot of try, especially on this day. So for me, this will be the first day of the year. For those other you, uh, for everyone else on the other side of the world, it's more like your New Year's Eve. We do have some tries here with the moon and the sun. So all, all I do feel like this is going to be a good day slash night. I feel like it's about being merry. Any issues do come up, but you're going to be able to see your way through. And you're going to have the strength and sort of not get worried about too many issues that are going to come up to bother you during this day as well. I feel like though this week is a pretty good week that I'm feeling quite positive about. I do feel like it's about like, you know, happy new year and new beginnings and making some strong decisions with these aspects with Mars, making decisions that are like you're setting in stone for the year ahead for what's coming up. I feel like you're going to be happy within yourself. I feel like you're setting, um, you know, you, you, there is a strength but setting certain goals within yourself too. It's a goal setting week. It's coming in here. It's a week of being truthful. I feel like it's not a week to just talk with people what they want to hear. It's a week of showing courage. It's, just, it's a week of, you know, honoring yourself and others too. Of course, you don't want to be like very blunt to people and, you know, break their hearts. But it's a way to, you know, you can say certain things as well. Um, 
I feel like it's a week of doing things that you love. Do you feel like it's a week of being very social? There's a lot of energy here in Sagittarius. We're going to have Venus here because we've got Venus, which is moving into Sagittarius on the, th on the 30th as well. So we've got have Venus, we're going to have Mars, and we're going to have Mercury all in Sagittarius So um, for a lot of this week. So it's a very fun energy that's coming in. Um, an energy of being social. It's an energy of just being happy as well. Sagittarius is a very happy, happy people too. They're very childlike people. They're youthful people as well. It could be, uh, so this week also about starting something new, especially when that Mercury is direct. We can finally start planning things, starting something new, booking holidays, uh, booking things. It might also be a week of daydreaming, but it's not a bad thing, daydreaming. Sometimes it's not bad. Um, think about new opportunities, do what's important to you. And I feel like if something really sparks your interest, you know, look at, a, at how that can, you know, gain things and, you know, perspective on things as well. Let's look at what's coming up ahead. I'm going to what cards should I use for this week? We're going to use my angel cards for the week ahead. Let's have a look. Let's have a look what's coming up in the week ahead. I feel like make things in concrete, like things that you're trying to plan, make it, make it and set it in concrete. I know for myself, I'm trying to plan a holiday with my sister and I wanted to book it before the Witcher Mercury, which is great. I didn't get to do that, but I'm going to set, try and set it in stone as soon as I can after this Mercury, which is great. So it's in place and it's there and I can look forward to them planning or wherever we're going to go and what we're going to do. We've got two places that we're going to go. So I feel like this is a big planning week ahead for what's coming up. Okay, let's have a look here. The cards. Well, we're definitely going through this tunnel of what, you know, the ending of 2023, moving into 2024. There is a sense of opportunities, people coming together, spending time with people. I do feel like the energies I'm sort of getting, it, this week is about being social. It is about, you know, meeting new people having new energies emerge and while we feel like this you know this year 2024 it's probably not going to be a perfect year um but this week leading into it i feel like is going to be a quite a good week where we are looking at certain boundaries certain guidelines we feel like we're in control. We've got this fresh new start of the new year. I feel like we're wanting to be supported by others and we want to feel like you know, people are there to help us and to support us through. Where we're also, you know, looking at where we can change things, where we can make things better, how we can improve certain situations in our life. We're trying to also, I feel like there's a sense of seeing, you know, where do I fit, where do I belong? But there's also a sense of time, like it's time now to start putting things into place. Most of these cards are all very nurturing cards. It's all about being around people, social, um, looking back through things, planning things. It's about, you know, when, what time, you know, time to do things. I feel like there could be a really big sense of meeting people, new people this week. New people, whether, whatever your plans are, meeting new people too. There's also a sense of achievement and reflection too from this year moving forward into the next year and where you know where you have where you have become as well. And a lot of plans you're wanting to put into place or making you know making things too uh, up. And there's a sense of also of nurturing and being guided. But I do feel like there could be a sense of planning a trip, planning some sort of trip or getaway to that's coming up here as well. Something that's like, for, it's, like, it's like for a week we can just live in a little bubble and I feel like it's quite a positive thing. I don't really get much negative coming up from this week. Yeah, we have this square that's with Venus and Saturn. Um, so there can be you know, a bit of a worry about sort of maybe even finances or sort of relationships. But I feel like with the other energies that are there, it's pushing us through to plan. I feel like it's a big thing about planning. It's a big thing about being socialised. You know, by the end of the month, we're going to have Pluto. It's going to be in Aquarius again. Um, it will do one more time back into Capricorn later in the year. And in November, in Aquarius for the next 20 years. So we are 
it is going to be a year of changes but I feel like for this week for starting off we can sort of relax a little bit and more have fun and do like you know plan to do things that are that you haven't done before you know it's quite quite good as well let me just see what else what else I can get for the week ahead let's see for the new year we get channel for the new year 2024 and this week is going to be a lovely week for 2024 big changes will emerge and for when we say things are lovely and you guys think it's not as as good as positive as what we are preaching but that is because what we see and what you see is two different things for we see the plan and when we see what goes how to get to the changes and what emerges from those changes and from what eventually emerges in 2030 is a whole new world with aspect and new things that are happening around you all where you're all spinning to a new reality but you've got to get there first so of course the bad things will happen and will come through you but this week alone is a week to be bright and cheery and to not be so down and bogged down by what is going to occur in 2024 just live your best life this week and know that challenges that you will face you'll be able to ease through them know that the things that come up will be okay knowing that with friends and family around you you'll be able to get through the week ahead be positive, be bright, do things that you love, be merry, and most of all, have fun. Okay. So um, let me just do some cards. I've been doing horoscopes, so I was just about to like, sign off. Um, so let me see. I'm going to use my new deck of cards I got for Christmas. I got the Hocus Pocus deck for Christmas. So I'm going to use that. Let's have a look here. So I do like the movie. Let's have a look here. We can do three cards. Okay. So we've got card one, card two, and card. We'll do three cards. Card number three. Let's have a look here. What's here? Card number one. Just this card here. So this card here, I feel like it is about cheese. So I do feel like there is a sense of having fun. There is a sense of um, something that's too hot to handle. A lot of like people are on like trying to reach out for this this thing. I do feel like make it a sense of there's too many hands. It is a situation where there's too many people got their business involved in this. There needs to be a stand back. One person needs to take charge and then that person needs to will be, then be able to move forward and make the situation run, run more, more smoothly. I feel like there's just too many people here. There's something about a ring, so it could be a proposal or something about a ring um, that's, in, that's coming up this week as well. I just feel like there is a sense of new beginning, but I want to say there's also a bit of, you know, having a drink or having a bit of fun, um, laughter and lightness about this card as well. I want to say um, there could be someone around trying to brew up some trouble, but I want to say it's like they can just be left behind. This person's going to be left behind. Okay, card number two, which is this card here. I feel like there is a sense of remembering about the past or the year of that's been and about stepping into the new year. There's a lot of reflection coming into this card, but there's also a lot of change and transformation around you as well. It's like you're transforming yourself into something that's very different moving into 24 than where you have been in 23. There is a sense of newness. You might be feeling a little bit judgy um, this this week but I feel like it's not a bad thing you're finally uh, found your voice and you're being a lot more opinionated and it's not a bad thing um, because I feel like you've been too quiet for too long card number three which is this card here you can see the future so with this card you have a lot of insight you're seeing where you're going you're seeing you're visualizing what's happening ahead you're there warning other people or trying to tell people you know like sort of wake up or what's happening or um, like you're just sensing or seeing some sort of like future events that's coming up here. I feel like you're heading towards something that's very bright. You're heading towards something that you've finally been like working and putting things in plan and very careful detail. And now you're starting to really step into this, this new power that you have. And I feel like you're running with it. Um, I do feel like there's also a, a time for rest for you as well for this week ahead that's coming up too. 
Okay, so I do have um, tickets are still available for my platform that's happening in February. That's a bit of, it's a month and a, nearly two months, I just under two months away. Um, and as I said, I am doing my predictions. So I've done most of them. There's a few things I want to just um, look into and I'd make, I'd make, then I'll make the video for that. Um, I'm finishing up the horoscopes. I've just got four more to do and I've finished the horoscopes. I did four today. So I'll be doing four more, um, which I'll be doing on New Year's Eve because tomorrow I'm doing readings all day and then I'm, I'm going out tomorrow night. Um, so there's some things that are coming up, um, but I'll be, I'll be getting them out early in, in the year too. And there's some things that I wanted to get planned. I'm thinking of maybe doing a podcast for a reflection of the year that's been and moving into the year ahead as well. So with that, say so thank you for your likes, your shares and your comments. And I, I really feel like this is a time where we do reflect on what the year has been. It has been a very transformative year. It's been an interesting year. And while I feel like we all know that something bigger is coming in 2024, I feel like, you know, just have this time that we've got to sort of let your hair down and celebrate um, the, the new year. I feel like that, you know, things as we know it, when we get to this time next year, there's going to be some big changes. People aren't going to know themselves. And I feel like, you know, where we're, we're heading into some, well, it can be some exciting times ahead. Um, things that are going to be happening we haven't been through before. So we're going into some challenges. And I feel like we've, we've kind of seen a glimpse of that in 2023, but we're going to see the full, more the full effect of it is going to be revealed to us in 2024. So enjoy your new year or New Year's Eve. Uh, I hope you all have a wonderful year. Just forget to be safe, um, be merry, be happy, and do whatever you, it is that you're wanting to do. Even if it's if you're by yourself, go to the movies, do something that's fun, at least for the last day of the year. I like to do that, something that's fun. And you can start the next day fresh for the new year. All right. Thank you for your likes, shares, and comments. And happy new year, and I'll see you my next video and farewell 2023 and we'll say hello to 2024 so bye for now